so we need to go to the cathedral. They point us in the right direction. Yes, Aiden pisses me off. The whole idea of Aiden. Yes, Aiden's the hero from Diablo 1. Who the hell's this guy again? I did everything. The fallen star lies within. Oh, I played Diablo 1. There's more than just the fallen star in the Christum, Tristam Cathedral. Once again, the, the general layout's uh, different than what you might remember in Diablo 1. The cathedral wasn't past Adria's house, that's for sure. That's definitely not what it was before. Okay. Kill the Risen. I really need to get rid get out of that shit. Okay, looks like we have to descend into the cathedral. This is going to be a dungeon. Very nice. I don't know why we had to jump down, but we did, and he did it gloriously. Is there anything here I can destroy? No. This is where the star fell. So, for whatever reason, the the cutscene had like red fire, normal looking fire. Now it looks all blue. Don't know what caused that change. Do know I can kill things with the chandelier, though. Use your surroundings. I will try to fully explore this place. Oh, we have carry-on bats. Very nice. And new lore about them, of course. Some foul new disease has taken hold oh, in wait. this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. I do like how they handle the sound in this game. While that is playing, everything else is muted, but you can still keep going. I, I really do like that. I think that was a nice touch. This place is going to be huge, if I remember it is a big circle, so you'll have to forgive me if I have to backtrack a few times here and there trying to fully explore the place. But I'm going to try to find the way forward without that. And we have a grotesque who explodes into uh, corpse worms. But they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. Well, I tried to use a, uh, a ground stomp there, but it didn't work out. I got flung into the air instead. Uh, God, which way's the way forward? These places are randomly generated. This is, of course, a roguelike, and that's kind of one of the main principles of a roguelike, is randomly generated. So it's, in theory, infinitely playable. Ravenous Dead! We got teleporters, and these are not elites, but they're, but they're special. They're upgrades. There we go. There is a ground stomp. Stuns everybody for now. Uh, as we go over some of the upgrades that we can find later on, you'll see why it's even better than just stunning the enemies. And <gasps> you're not going to believe this. I didn't believe it either. Um, end of act bosses can be stunned. You would think that'd be something that wouldn't work. I don't want to name any of them, but this end of, you know, the, the the boss at the end of this act, all throughout, all four acts. I remember four. There could be five. But I swear it was four. Crude club. I don't think that's good, but I'll take a look at it. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not that great either. Um... God, this is going on for a while, so I'm going to try to backtrack this way a bit and hope that this way does not also lead on for a while. Um, it's not supposed to be that big. Of course, this is the first dungeon, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it is going on quite a ways. Dead villager, dead adventurer. 
Adventurers usually have better stuff than villagers. Villagers do usually have gold, though. Okay, so let's head up here. It looks like everything wants me to go down. You can't go down there. Just because you see it on the map does not mean you can go down there. I do like that as well. Ah, this was... Dead end, right here. Lactanan Scroll. My name is Lactanan, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Didn't... Didn't the guy, Lactanan, have a voice actor in Diablo 1? I don't remember an Irish accent. Just a thought. Uh, we have encountered our first shrine here. Shrine. Well, as you can see, this one gives me fortune, which means magic and gold find, plus 25%, and it'll show me how long it will last. These are all improvements, and to be honest, improvements that were implemented because Blizzard also does MMOs. This game does feel a little bit like an MMO at times. This, they definitely adapted a lot of the style from World of Warcraft into this game. Uh, magic and magic and gold find does apply to not only enemies that you kill, but also to enemies, uh, but to destroyable objects and chests and all that kind of stuff. So feel free to go nuts when you got the magic find on. Oh, I guess I was supposed to use that. Anything here? Nice. Cloth pants. Those mushrooms are immense. I'll take one. That was weird. Surely that's good for something. Like the end scroll part two. It was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king here and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop. The counselors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. Okay, we got another level up, another skill, another thing for the inventory. Bracers, regenerates one life per second or more armor. I'm going to go with the, ar the, the, the life per second. Uh, this is a mushroom. The witch hatred eats a black mushroom. I know about as much as I do about red herrings. Account bound cannot be sold. This looks important. Uh, I believe that is a reference once again to the first game. Uh, the game loves to. Re this game loves to reference the previous two games. So, if you didn't play them, you're gonna miss a lot of the subtle references here and there. But otherwise, you should be pretty pretty good. I mean, you don't need to play the previous two games in order to play this. Uh, oh, I can destroy that. Um, if you have trouble with these guys, you can destroy them by objects. There's also achievements that you can get for destroying things with objects. Destroying everybody as you go along. Uh, let's head further down. Actually, I should probably head right. We'll finish these guys off. Simple dagger. That is not what I wanted. Oh, it ends right here. Good thing I chose this way then. Otherwise, I might have forgotten that there was something here. Low quality simple daggers. No. No, you can't hurt yourself with that. So f feel free to destroy all objects in your path. I don't even know why I, I'm destroying the, the destroyable objects. I have plenty of gold. I think you only, you're only supposed to start with like 100 gold and I have 16,000? That's, that, yeah, that's why I'm not buying anything. I've, I've decided that's not allowed for me because it, it feels cheap to me. Even though I've technically earned it, I earned it through some, some uh, another character. So it doesn't feel right. Oh. Ah, there I got something. It wasn't an achievement, but I got bonus experience, I think, for destroying four enemies with one object. Bookcase! Always check those as well. I think I miss. I probably missed a few, but most of them are destroyed. If it's intact, you can destroy it, and there's money inside. Because people hide coins inside books. I don't know if you guys know that. But that is what happens. And it looks like we have found the way down. Very nice. Another checkpoint. A couple new enemies over here. My magic find is gone, of course. Probably left a while ago. A lot of this game 
uh, towards the end is is about building up your magic find. So magic find is very important. Those kind of shrines are very important. The Oryx Passage. Oh, minions, stay back. Back. May this let you move. The skeleton king. What? The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. No, Deckard! We have to save him! Get over there and save him! Go! Go, go, barbarian! Uh, I don't know. Is he gonna make it? Wait, the Skeleton King! Didn't we kill the Skeleton King? Yes, Kane, I will save you! He's doing fine! Oh shit! Head Cleaver! Stomp! Oh, we did learn a new skill that I didn't go over, but I didn't like it anyway. We'll go over it in a second. There we go. Vampiric Hand Axe of the Angels. I know I want that. Okay, so, skill. There's a new skill for the secondary one. We have Rend. Uh, wounds nearby enemies and causes them to bleed for five seconds. I will stick to the Hammer of the Ancients. I like the Hammer better. Uh, just because it's higher up on this skill thing does not mean that it is better. Just just as a general rule, it, it could be, but I like the Hammer better. This I know I want because it's got Life Steal. It's got 7.8 damage, which is already better than anything else that I've got. So you're going to go in my in there and you're going to go there. But Life Steal is it says 1.2% of damage dealt converted to life. That is pretty much the the entire build that I'm going for right now is that. So anything that I can find with that on it, I am definitely using. Deckard, I saved you. Do something for me. Identify my items. Oh, thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? I have need of your knowledge, Deckard King. Leah will be happy that you live. It is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. And off he goes into the Cathedral Garden. Let's finish exploring this place a little bit first. Here we have an ornate door. It looks like there's a little bit more this way. Uh, just the bookshelf with nothing inside. You can see um, uh, they disappeared. You could have seen if you zoomed in and backed it up probably a little bit that yeah, we're not going in there but for the record I don't think they'll let us anyway. These things need to be destroyed. Urns everywhere. Destroy. Uh, you could have seen on those little scrolls blue and white um, blue and white little Ribbons around it, once again, references to, to previous games. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I, in a second. There's some things that I want to do here first. Uh, this gate is now open. Uh, we're, we're just going to finish exploring this place until we find doors or gates or something that blocks our path like this right here and I think it'll be pretty much the same on the other side although it could go on a little bit further no it ends just the same once again fully explore everything you never know what people are going to have on them these the, the chests all that kind of stuff you never know where they're gonna be once again they tell you exactly where you need to go I have honored my pledge to Leah and rescued Cain all that stands between me and the mystery of the fallen star is the Skeleton King, whose return has again darkened Tristram. So yes, the Skeleton T King. We did kill him in the first game, but he's back. Um, I don't remember if he was required or optional in the first game, but I know I killed him. Leah. Have anything to say about all this? Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you 
and your friend here. Leah did nothing. Time is running short. What can you tell me of the fallen star? Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. And here you'll find that even though we clearly see these things rising up from the dead, I have to kill them with my axe because that's what I do. Leah does not believe Deckard's stories when he said this was going to happen. And he says, I've encountered these before. But she doesn't believe the rest of his story. Tell me about your life with Cain. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard while he did his crazy research. What does your uncle seek? He's convinced that the forces of hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. I will stop it. And yes, it's true. I mean, every legend is true in these types of games. What did you learn of your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. What? She was in search of something. I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. <sighs> That's kind of important, <laughs> the war between angels and demons. I... Uh... Leah, you're starting to rub me the wrong way. So, Adria wasn't there until the the trouble started with Tristra? I don't I, I don't remember enough about Diablo 1 to be able to comment on that, but I they I don't think they actually said that they could have though. The skeleton king was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. Yes. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. A sad tale, but I seek the fallen star, and he stands in my way. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Hadrig! Hey, you should not dismiss the sign so lightly. Seriously. You do not believe the evidence of your own eyes. Seriously. Horrors have visited Tristram before and it endured. Oh my god, shut up. What of the texts? The Zakarum tones born of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. And this is why I don't like Leah that much. Deckard, you are very important and I love you, man. You've been with me for so long. Who are you? I am the last. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You cannot believe this. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the lords of hell. Can I... yeah. Leave. Leave chat. Thank you. Okay. No longer in chat. That was bugging me. Let's talk to Deckard some more. Your adopted niece, so they aren't related. You and Leah seem to care much for each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. <laughs> But though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. 
I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. I have. I killed them. Are you saying they're coming back? Didn't I kill them? I don't know. In this game, things tend to die and then undie. <laughs>